scenario like this you've got the mariner or uh, Yamaha engine and there's petrol running out of it from the front then it's most likely or it is a carburetor that's dirty we already know that the problem over here with this little machine of mine is the carburetor that's dirty but sometimes when it doesn't want to start it can be a dirty carburetor or yeah, something of that manner as well but most of the times when your um, engine doesn't want to start it will be a faulty spark plug um, so please before you even clean the uh, carburetor it's maybe better to first check the spark plug replace it buy a new one you most probably are going to use it in any case in the future to replace it just open it up over here at the back see it's a small cover over here mine is a little bit broken already it's an old engine i want to say it's reliable maybe it's just easy to fix i don't know then you've got now this thing that i've removed over here inside of this go see the spark plug just connect it over there then turn it around then it should be easy to replace. Now I know this is not the problem, so I'm not going to even. Also, what I do regularly, I would clean this up. Sometimes that helps. Okay, just take a cloth or a piece of um, serviette or something, clean it, and make sure that it's also nothing is stuck to it, like the, the piece that broke off the serviette or something. Afterwards, and put it back. Turn it in with your fingers firstly, okay? To make sure that you are not going to damage the thread. Then if it's fully turned in, just fasten it. Over there, that's it, okay? Okay, but we, don't, we know, as I've said, this is not the problem in this case. Over here, we've got a few bolts that we have to, or screws that we have to loosen up. Screws will be here and there, here on the front as well, and I'll show you a few on the other side as well. Um, so let's start with this one. I actually think maybe a Phillips would be better. It works with a Phillips or a flat. Here we go. remove it oh, okay this one <laughs> only works with a flat here we go remove that one okay there as well a little bit of a reach for me at this stage okay Okay, here we go. Um, before you can take off this cover, I have to adjust that a little bit. Okay, um, it should come out now. Also, <clears throat> here at the back, there are screws that you had to loosen up. Over here, there's a screw. Okay, just take it off. Take it off over there, then just close it back up again. Okay, now we can even see clearly the spark plug. <clears throat> uh, let's just turn it on its other side quickly. There we go. More screws to loosen up. that 
this one as well. Okay. Look at all the oil and petrol coming out of this thing. <clears throat> Should be able to remove it. There we go. Now, I'd like to take this off firstly. What I usually do, this is just, I'm not saying oh, this is mandatory, I'm not going to work in this case as well. But I like to replace the screws over there like that. Okay, but we are going to have to remove the screw in any case because this cover has to be removed. There are the, these two screws. Those has to be removed as well. This thing for the choke. Here we go. Now the screws will be able to come out. Here we go. The first one. The second one. Ah, you can see it's already loose. Wants to get off. There we go. And there's our carburetor. <clears throat> to remove the carburetor, it's not really a very difficult thing. Um, all you have to do is loosen one screw. Okay, also you want to remove this. Might be a little bit of spillage. Ah, not even today. Okay. Let's just take that out of the way so that you guys can see. Over here, got our screw over there. Okay. Um, Let's just move it a little bit closer so that you guys can see. There's the screw. You have to loosen up. That's it. Loosen up this a little bit. There we go. Not too much. This is where we want to make a lot of turns so that we can remove that thing. Okay. And um, yeah, we can take all of this apart. Actually, not even where the problem is. The problem is in this thing. So. But I'm going to wash all of it. I'm just somewhere going to take petrol, um, put this in a nice old ice cream container, and uh, throw in a lot of petrol to wash it out. There are things on the market that you can use. I'm not against that at all. This is cheaper. <laughs> but this screw is to drain your, your fluids, the petrol mixture from this con uh, little uh, container. In any case, so yeah, that's my problem. You can loosen it up, throw it into old ice cream container, and you can now and start to take all of this apart. I don't think it's really necessary to take that apart. All of this looks pretty clean. Pretty clean. What you might have to do is to take out that pin over here. The pin over here. You want to take out the pin.
go. Over here. This is now placed on the float. And as the float goes up, it pushes against this pin. And that closes the little hole inside there. A lot of times that is exactly your problem. Okay. Mine, as I've said, is not that. But yes, that's a lot of times the problem. This is what I was expecting though. Um, so this is why I'm showing it. Okay. So you can just clean out everything. And reassemble everything. And then most likely your problems will be solved.